remarkable story of weather damage tonight. After glancing out of the kitchen window, Tony and her husband witnessed trees in their backyard spinning with high speeds. As she looked to the left and right side of her property, she saw two trees falling, which are both over 100 feet tall. Tony says the branches spinning in a distance lasted more than two minutes. But once she and her husband went outside to examine the property, they discovered total devastation. Two gigantic trees down and a few smaller ones and branches are everywhere. Really bad. It was scary. And I even noticed it lifted up the shingles in our screened area. Thankfully, no one got hurt. Tony and her husband are currently waiting for a surveyor to come out and view the property and take photos to determine exactly how much in property damage they've experienced. All right, and time now to check in with meteorologist Casanova Nurse. And Cass, I got to say, scary stuff last night. Thank goodness Tony and her husband were okay. And um, apparently that was some kind of twister. Yes, we were seeing some survey crews from the National Weather Service amongst the other surveyors out there uh, assessing the damage and finding patterns of the wind force that caused the damage. And it was deemed to be a weak tornado that caused that damage in eastern Leon County. For the tornado warning that we were covering around 545 last night, that's associated with that damage that was reported in eastern Leon County. But fortunately, a sigh of relief because the current scene on Titan radar is much quieter now than it was 24 hours ago. We are in a little bit of a break between the departing storm system that triggered yesterday's severe rounds and another system much weaker in form, but still capable of causing maybe a little bit of late night cloudiness. We've had some high level clouds filtering through, blocking the sunshine every so often, but these could thicken up in response to a broader area of low pressure that's going to simply make its way progressively rather quickly through the deep south and we'll be on its southern end to where we may be able to tap into a little bit of lift a little bit of moisture availability for maybe a couple showers to form a little more activity with that approaching low over the Mississippi Valley where there have been some severe weather occurrences earlier today but this will be in much weaker form as it works its way into middle Alabama and Georgia maybe giving us a period of overcast sky and a passing shower. Temperatures have been modified because of the northwest winds that are in place right now. So upper 60s, lower 70s, and the winds a little bit obvious with wind speeds in general about 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained. We'll continue with breezes heading into tonight and tomorrow, but eventually that flow will tap into a little extra cooling. Nonetheless, we'll keep our temperatures in the mild range for the night ahead. We'll also increase and thicken the clouds and maybe throw in a stray shower after midnight. More information about rain chances and what comes afterwards in the Storm Team forecast. Cast.